Hello everyone and welcome to the UCM Livestock Market Report for today, the 29th of, of June, June 2016. In a day that can only be described as a Sim Kimberley sunrise sort of a day. Sunset, I think. As the sun it. sets <laughs> over Cable Beach, <laughs> that's where I'll be. And the Cable Train rides up in the distance. <laughs> well, I won't be on it, I'll be kind of a sight. Too heavy, too heavy. <laughs> 1,514 cattle yard today, and, a, and a probably a decreased quality yarding, but an increased market overall. Yeah, it was. Uh, we'll kick off the export, how we go? Yeah, bulls. Probably bulls two to three cents better, Paddy. They topped out at two eighty five. Your heavy export cows, they could have been eight to twelve cents better. They topped out at two ninety two. Probably based on the yield, that's sort of yeah, they, they were. You know, and they had to be those better yielding cows, like we just said. Your medium cows, they have not a lot of change there. They were making two ten to a top of two forty, and your lighter cows were sort of making one forty to a top of one ninety. And they were pretty plain, they and they were. Yeah. They were not a lot of weight there. Uh, heavy export steers, look, not a lot here to quote, but they topped out at 242, and your heavy export heifers were only about five cents behind that. But again, that was about 12 cents cheaper than last week, but more than more than likely that was quality and uh, just the quantity that was here. How's the trade, Paddy? Yeah, probably the dearest trade market we've seen actually. It was fantastic. Diane, Diane Marie Jones. Yes, did Lady Die, well. Lady Die's been asked, 300 odd kilo veal, beautiful calf. 365.2. Probably the big punch was those yearling sort of efforts. Yeah, they 380, were. 400 kilos. Or one of them. 335 to 358. Very, very strong for those well carbon efforts. Obviously, lacking the, uh, they're lacking to have fat cattle everywhere, and that's what they're chasing them. Restock of cattle took a new launch into the uh, oblivion. Uh, topping out to those lot of weaned steers. They had to be weaned, making up to 407.2. Yep. Uh, for a lot of ways, Steve, well done, Brooke, Brooke Pastel and Glenn Eisenhower. Nice and the restocker heifers were very strong. They were sort of making up the $3.45 uh, uh, and mostly 320 to 345 That's our Serbian friend. Yep. You're a dead man. Anyway, the uh, he's coming. The feedlot steers were probably a little bit stronger again today. Yes. Feedlot steers were making sort of that 338 through to 366, which was very strong again. Yeah. Good yarding of them and a fair bit of competition over it. It was a good one. Um, so it wasn't too bad. Other than that, uh, we've got uh, Braywood on Friday. Braywood on Friday, 10.30 start. And we've got some cows and calves? We have indeed. We've got uh, some really nice Angus Hefferson calves. With about three, three to four months uh, old, old calves, calves that are on them. And they're rejoining too. Good quality? Very good quality. As you would expect. So yeah, 10.30 start in Braywood on Friday. Probably only 7 or 800 cattle yard. Yes. Uh, but it's certainly the quality will be okay. Other than that, all good. Uh, I'll speak to you in a couple of weeks' time on uh, you'll sleep doing one next week. Well indeed. We'll see you then. See you then. Thank you. Here's some good pole Hereford heifers out of Mogo. Made 309. Four twos and their sisters next door. They made 310. And up the way here. There's some good four and six tooth heifers, made 307 and 309. Here's some good black cows out of Braywood, made 233 cents. The sisters next door made 232 cents. And then another run of black cows made 220 cents. And their sisters next door made 225 cents.